Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got a little project here today. It uh, goes back to projects, breeding projects. So this is the carburetor off the D600. Uh, it wasn't running right, so I took the carburetor off my old Poly 318 that I got running in a previous video and put it on there and it runs like a champ now. So. I know it's issue has been the carburetor. So I've taken this apart. Main thing here being these uh, rods that uh, regulate the fuel flow. And I've been through this thing and cleaned it all up. So since I'm usually known for my amazing carb rebuild videos, we'll uh, just go through and pull this down. A little check it out. Get the float out, but you can see there's a check ball down in there and the accelerator pump. And there's another check ball up here in this circuit. Gone through and blown out all these passages so everything should be clean. I think this thing ought to work. So screws your special jets in this BBD carb if it'll focus. There you go. Let's see there's holes through there. Same deal with these little idle tubes, make sure they're clear. Gasket's good on this, so I think I'm not gonna mess with that. There's the other little check ball down in there in that front pocket. So you might say, Brian, you're scratching up that machine surface, but I'm pretty sure this wasn't ever a machine surface. It doesn't look like. It appears to be as cast. I don't see any machine marks and it's pretty rough. Don't want to lose that. I'm going to blow this out. Carburetors maybe been on fire before, I don't know. It's a little messed up looking down there in that bottom of that bowl, but we're gonna have to hurt anything. So jets are all clear. Drop the ball back down in here. Vacuum return spring back. Next I got some new balls and clippies. Don't see nothing wrong with that one though, so I don't think I'm going to use any of that stuff. Save that for later. New needle and seat. I don't think I'm going to use that either. This old one's working just fine. Didn't have a problem with it overflowing. Carb gas, base gaskets. Lots of different styles of these, which I'm not putting one of them in. There's like a power valve, but don't have one of them. So I'm gonna be using that. Uh, this must be for the lower section. And take that apart. Up there, kind of looks like that could be the deal. I 
some other application again or maybe that's the base so against a big pile I'm not going to use for checking the float setting I reckon I'm right on five eighths this says float sets at a quarter inch It's way below that. So that's close. Alright, so it's everything stripped out of the top. So spring back on the accelerator pump. Accelerator pump goes through this hole. Fish this link back through here. That holds that. So, needles are dropped back down in there. I put the accelerator pump shaft back through. And make sure I get this piece back on that actuates the rods.
Well, I got the ears back under. So these screws are slotted, so the relationship of the accelerator pump shaft over here can be adjusted to the height of the needles and the accelerator pump. So that's two adjustments you got. Check again, make sure the ball's down the well. Springs in there. Needles are free. Got the new accelerator pump on. So, I think we're ready to put a top on. Make sure that these go down in the jets, don't bend them up. Make sure the needles are still free. Good on that. Accelerator pump making noise. Most important part, put the tag back on so someday the next person can find parts for this. Don't be that guy that takes the tag off to go to the parts house, get your parts, and then never put it back. Don't be that guy. So I'm going to adjust this without the throttle stop on here. Could be the wrong way, but that's how I'm going to do it anyway.
Well, I must have accidentally changed the setting on this camera because I seem to recall it used to record about two hours, but I'm only getting like 40 minutes now, so must have done something as far as how many pixels it takes. Anyway, I guess you're getting a better picture even if I can't film anything. So, let's take a look. Down over in there underneath of the uh, air cleaner is the carburetor. I've got everything installed. I'm not going to lie to you, I've even tested this thing. And just the idle and everything, and I think I got this thing where I run. So. Sounds good, Lyle. Well, I don't even know rev perfectly clean. I don't know how the timing is on this. I've never messed with it. So maybe a little out. Usually starts back good though. Well, there it is, probably like the smallest cube to big block Chrysler that it is. Uh, being a 361, it's in that 400, uh, not raised block, but the B block families. So, got real thick cylinder walls. These were engines that were intended to be beat on, thrashed. And this thing, it runs wide open throttle most of the time because it, it doesn't have enough power to drag itself any more than that. You get 40,000 pounds on this thing, and it's using every pony it's got to move down the road. And I what they're rated, 230 horse, 240 horse, probably, back in the day. Doesn't have any emission stuff on it, but uh, still, this was the 70s, so I'm sure they were already hurting. Compared to what they were, their peak in the 60s. But, things be running anyway. So that's an improvement. Now I can put my carburetor back on my other truck and uh, clean out some fence rows. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. I'll catch y'all later.